Hello again, guys! Welcome to Geekomania episode, we still don't care. <laughs> um, we're reviewing Skyfall. Uh, we're a, we should really have reviewed this a long time ago, shouldn't we? We yes. just have forgotten. Come so yeah, we're doing it now! Deal with it. Um, yeah, so Mark, Skyfall, what do you think? I thought it was a great film. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was way better than Quantum of Solace, and I thought... That is not hard to do. And, uh, and I quite like the fact how it harkened back to the older Bonds, but also still keep it quite realistic, like, like Casino Royale was. Mm, yes. Yes! It's really, really, really good. Easily the best Bond film I've seen. I've not seen all of them, so I can't say it's the best Bond film for the How many have you seen? Um, I've seen, I think, all of the Pierce Brosnan ones, mm -hmm. and all of the Daniel Craig ones, and only clips of the other ones, really. I'm probably in the same boat but, with you. Um, yeah, it's really, really, really good. Yeah. I mean, even if you do not like Bond, even if you know nothing about James Bond, even if you don't give a crap about English action films in general, this is a good film. Yeah. Visually, it's stunning. Uh, Sound-wise, stunning. Acting-wise, really good. Writing-wise, brilliant. Yeah. It's, it's funny when it needs to be... A, uh, there, there are some one-liners that fall a bit flat at times. I think that's probably one of the big weaknesses of it. It's not as quite as quippy as most Bonds should be, I feel. But it, it has quips. It yeah, has, it has like quips. Like the dialogue yeah. between um, M and Bond was quite humorous. It's, 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 pre it's pretty funny, but it's not quite as quippy as I would have liked it to be. It's It, it needed to be a bit more punchy. I don't think Mendes quite got that. But... Um, I, all of the nods to old school Bond are great. Mm. The whole third act is brilliant. Yes. I love the third act of this film. I could watch the third act of this film all day. Um, but I thought uh, the villain. I thought Javier Bardem as a villain was Javier quite... Bardem was good. Uh, again, like one of the only weaknesses of the film, I feel like, is I wanted Javier to come in a bit earlier than he did, because it's a long time before you see Bardem in the film. Mm. It's like a full. It's almost like a full hour before he actually yeah. comes into the film, which well, is a shame because he's brilliant in this. He is fantastic, but when he does come in, to, you, he has such a cool presence and this way, and the shot that he does it as well. It's just one. Oh, just uh, single shot of just him walking. Just his opening monologue. It's just oh, oh, and, it's and, so and good. You know how other directors <laughs> would have done uh, uh, other shots like close ups and. Long oh, shots. It's just one full long shot. If one thing, if there's, if there's one thing you can always count on Mendes for, it's cinematography. Yes, guy loves cameras and knows how to use them. But yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so good. I want more. I want more of it. In a bottle, blended up and injected into my veins like Dr Pepper. I still oh, yeah, had Paddy, too much Dr Paddy's Pepper. reviewing the next three bomb films as well, Mendes. Reviewing or directing? Directing that one. He's going to be directing <laughs> the next three Bond films. I don't care if he's reviewing them. I just want him to direct more. <laughs> yeah. Because he is surprisingly good at action considering what his previous films are. I mean, American Beauty is an amazing film, but never, never in a lifetime. What else, what else did he do? I don't actually know. <laughs> American Beauty is the only important. <laughs> I'm probably wrong there. But no, I would not have expected the director of a film like American Beauty to be able to shoot action scenes that brilliantly. And like the stuff in like Shanghai is all beautifully yes. shot and the imagery is brilliant and the opening credits and ah, it's oh, those so opening good. credits were like amazing. I think the other one I liked the most as well was Casino Royale. But Casino was... Royale had good opening credits, this had great opening credits. I still think Casino Royale is a better song. But Skyfall works better for Skyfall. <laughs> yeah, obviously, as it's today, it would be weird if I had a Casino Royale song in Well, no, no, Skyfall. I'm saying Skyfall works better for Skyfall and Casino Royale works for Casino oh, okay. that's, that's what I was making. But, oh, it's really good. If you haven't seen this film yet, Definitely. it's still out in cinemas. Go see it. And it's and it's just been released over in America, so if you fans are you know, over in America, you can see it as well. Oh, just go. Just it's go it's, it's really it. good. It's really good. And it... it and it shows you why Bond has lasted for 50 years. That if they yeah. make films like this, then you'd be like, he can last another 50 years. Yeah, I, I think the only other complaint that's come to mind is it is a bit long. I, I, I don't like, lo I, you know, I prefer concise films, personally. It runs a little too long for my tastes, but it's still really good. But and it doesn't feel films long. are quite long, though. Like Lord of the Rings and other films are quite long. I know, and I think that's long. one of its biggest weaknesses. <laughs> I do think that's one of the Lord of the Rings' biggest weaknesses, but... Yeah, it works for the film. It doesn't. It doesn't feel so. I just feel like it would have been better if it was a bit more concise. But it's still really good. 
really lovely. Four stars for me. I'll probably give it four stars as well. I really liked it. And mm. I thought the the action scenes were really cool, the set pieces were really cool, like the bit where uh, where Bond had to try and chase Javier Bardem through the um, underground. Tra underground was yeah. really cool and how that was how that was shot in the movie. Yeah, I mean like really clever. For me, the biggest weakness of Quantum of Solace and Casino Royale was they weren't funny enough. They weren't. Mm. They were. You know, they had little quips in there, but they weren't. It wasn't very Bondy. Um, he's Bondy, and it wasn't silly enough. Because mm. <laughs> that's the big thing about James Bond is, all, you need to take it a little bit seriously, but you need some over the top stuff in there because it's a Bond mm. film. It has to be a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, and this had that in spades. Yeah, this it one did. Lovely. This one did definitely. But you feel about the other two were more to do with another reboot or. I know. Or, I know. Or they were going for the more, more serious, serious, realistic like the, tone. And it, for me, that was the biggest weakness for them. Yeah, which is why I like this one because it now appeals to fans of the original stuff and the newer films because it has both. It's the best of both worlds. Yeah, and it's lovely. I want which it. is why Casino Royale, as you said, put off people like you and other fans of the older Bonds because mm. I like that. That's why you know with this one, it's does now, it for both. Don't fans get me again. wrong. I liked Casino Royale. I still really like the film. I just like that was its biggest weakness for me. Was it? It didn't. Feel James Bond and also enough. as well, Judy Dench as usual is amazing in that yeah. film. Yeah, it's a, it's. A, I think she's. I think there's a little bit too much for her, maybe. Like a little bit more focus on Bond would be nice, but it's it's understandable for what they do. So yeah, it works. I mean, like a lot of the complaints I have, it still works for the film. You know, they're mm. just slight detractions that would have I felt like would have improved it, but they still make the film work. Yeah, it's good. I'm Great okay. film. I, I hopefully the next Bond film will be as good as this one. Uh, well, if he can continue this run, then hell yeah. And from the looks of the way he's set it up, because there's a little bit of setup at the end, mm. it looks promising. Definitely. I look forward to more of his work. Me too. I want to partake in more. And of do that. you think Daniel Craig's the best Bond of what you've seen? Um, he's better than Brosnan. I can say that with certainty. Um, but I I can't judge the others because I haven't seen the films. So, and I don't like judging things I haven't seen. Fair I enough. try not to. Um, I fail sometimes. <coughs> oh God! Um, but <laughs> at least you know, earlier, you're gonna wait till you see it before you can. Put I am, I list. am, but I still judge the books unfairly because of the film. So that's fair. Um, but let's not make this about Twilight. Skyfall is brilliant. Yes. Go see it. Thanks Definitely. for watching, guys. That is a mark. And that's a Ben. And cheers, guys. And take care. Bye, Bye guys. guys.